With the high school season wrapping up and most teams either having their season ended or they're starting their playoff run, it is now time to figure out who are the best players in the class of 2024? So for this video, I took the average of each player's rankings on 24 seven sports rivals and ESPN. So I can make this a more accurate list of the best players in the country. So these are the top 10 players going into their senior year, AKA the class of 2024. So be sure to comment down below who are you guys most excited to watch in the class of 2024, which, which players do you guys want your favorite college football teams to pick up? And uh, yeah, leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, whatever you want to comment down below. Let's get straight into it. Three, two, one. Starting it off at number 10, we have the number one running back in the entire country, Jarrett Gibson. This guy's playing for IMG Academy now. Oh my God, look at the burst. Look at the burst. This is the sophomore year highlights. These aren't even his junior year tape. The burst is insane. Like I said, the class of 2024 is absolutely deep. There is this kid, he can flat out get up and go. All these players are five-star recruits, so I'm not even going to mention that they're five-star recruits. Jared Gibson is starting to list off strong, though. Hey, especially for the running backs in 2024, he's making a good name for himself. He can, like, this kid, He once he hits that open field, he is gone. Great vision, great ability to maintain speed while, while cutting and changing direction. And then his first step is just so explosive. Oh, yeah. The, Hey, Jared Gibson, he should be proud to be the number one running back in 2024. Next up, we have the second best quarterback in the class of 2024 coming out of Providence Day High School, Jaden Davis. Now, hey, I know that 2023 had a very, very tight quarterback race between Nico, Arch, and Malachi, at least as far as like the top top, but hey, also Dante Moore, don't, don't forget about Dante Moore. But the 2024 class has a maybe not as name impressive, at least yet, but they got some dudes in 2024 who could spin the ball. And Jaden Davis is for sure one of them. I mean, people have been knowing about him for a while now. And this kid's arm talent is flat out amazing. He can spin the ball. Great mechanics as well. Great ball placement. It's the arm though. The, the arm talent is there. I mean, he can make all the all the throws from any angle, off on platform, off platform. Keeps his eyes downfield very well. Jaden Davis is gonna be just one of the best players in the country, period, in 2024. Clearly seeing that he's already the number nine guy. Coming in at number eight, the eighth best player in 2024 is the second best wide receiver in the country in Ryan Wingo. And this kid, he's got some wheels. He can, like, wheels, just keep on following the blocks. Just find. Just keep on finding a way to weave through the maze. Oh, ooh, ankles at the end too. Let's go. Hey, I think that the 2024 class, where the 2023 class was mainly known for its quarterbacks, I think 2024 is going to be known for its wide receivers. There is a ton of wide receiver talent coming out in the class of 2024. Ooh, nice block. And then Ryan Wingo, he's got that speed. That. They can now, they all these guys can get up and go, but my guy Ryan Wingo, he's got some straight speed out here. High point it, yup, and pull away. Keep on coming across, get a little block. Too easy. Way to cut it up, field. Speaking of elite wide receiver talent, the number seven player in the class of 2024 is actually the second best athlete in the country in Josiah Trader. And uh, yeah, he's probably gonna be playing wide receiver, but they got him listed as an athlete. So we're gonna rank him as that for right now, at least. But this kid, and he's got a teammate on, on here a little bit later on in the video, but this dude, he can flat out fly. He can catch the like. He is, he is a perfect wide receiver for the next level. Like he can flat out get it done. And he plays for one of the best teams in Florida. So he's going up against quality competition week in and week out. I actually made a video on this high school. This might be the, Shamanah Madonna Prep might be the scariest high school offense in the entire country. The amount of talent that they have on that offensive side of the ball is absolutely insane. Oh, where are you going? Why are you all looking goofy? He said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just uh, swoop. Why are y'all looking goofy? <laughs> Yo, and then he took his angles just for the one time. Coming in at number six, we have the number one cornerback in the entire country in Elias Robbins, Robinson the fourth. 
And he, uh, again, the speed that is in the top 10 of the class of 2024 is absolutely ridiculous. These guys can all flat out move. Now let's see what he's looking like straight clam season. I've actually seen this kid's highlight tape since his sophomore year and he can play. He like coming out of New York, he's gonna be playing for IMG next year. But this guy, he can make some, he can just flat out lock dudes down. He is a wide receiver's worst nightmare. I mean, look at this, look at look at what he does right here. This dude actually had the ball, and th that's his hand right there, just ripping the ball at the last second. That's a wide receiver's worst nightmare. It's like I, I had the ball in my hand and then just whoop rips it out. Go hawk him down real quick. Go hawk him down real quick. Now cracking into the top five, we have the number one athlete in the country in Mike Matthews. Again, there is, I'm pretty sure that, ooh, ooh with the one hand, why do you make it look so smooth? You ain't have to do it too, like this. Ah, make it look easy. But yeah, like I said, there's already, if you account the athletes as just being wide receivers, which are more than likely going to be playing at the next level, there are four wide receivers in the top 10 players in the class of 2024. Like I said, the class of 2024 is going to be defined as the wide receiver class. Like there's so much wide receiver talent coming out of this class. It's insane. But he is also listed as an athlete. So let's see what he's looking like as a safety. Uh, high point that, give me that. And go make a play now. Nope, you ain't bringing me down. Coming in at number four is the number one linebacker in the country, Sammy Brown. Now, as you can see, this is a linebacker moving with this much speed. Now, these are his sophomore highlights, so he's only gotten bigger, stronger, and faster, which is very terrifying to think of. Attacking the line of scrimmage, run through that. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I, I always know a good linebacker when this is right here. What, what are you gonna do? Are you going? Are you just gonna kind of lock up with him? Or are you just gonna run straight through his face, knock him back into the quarterback, and go get you a sack? Sammy Brown is an absolute dog out here. If you guys don't know, now you know. Sammy Brown is the truth at linebacker. Just run through everybody. He ain't bringing me down. And then the burst that he had, he can hit that sixth gear with a quickness. Yeah, Sammy Brown is is the number one linebacker in the country, and he is extremely terrifying while he's doing it. Get the slide on him. Get the slide on him. Get the step in. The speed that he has at linebacker is terrifying, which we're starting to see now more and more from these linebackers. The speed that they are bringing to the field, their ability to cover as well as pursue after the quarterback, is just making the game of football that much faster. Oh, just gone. Also, number two, you, you played yourself, my brother. <laughs> you absolutely played yourself. Now we're into the top three, and the third best player in the class of 2024 is actually teammates with Josiah Trader, and he is the number one receiver in the entire country in my guy, Jeremiah Smith. I'm t like, again, this Shaman Madonna prep team, the fact that they have two top 10 wide receivers is absolutely nuts, but, or, and two top 10 recruits in the country, absolutely insane. But this guy, Jeremiah Smith, he is absolutely smooth. He is the number one wide receiver for a reason. He, they, he is able to bring down that 50 50 ball, 10 to 6 3 already. Physically, he's there. Great speed, solid release off the ball lightning quick this this kid is absolutely just a force to be reckoned with yeah talk your talk my guy like i said 2024 class is going to be known for their wide receiver talent get gone just burst on him real quick high point that <laughs> give me that Brrr, easy that's a walk-in touchdown if i've ever seen one making it look too simple Coming in at number two, we have the number one safety in the country in KJ Bolden. Again, this kid is also listed as an athlete. They have him listed as an athlete, but classified as a wide receiver or as a, as a safety. So I'm just going to go with him being the number one safety because a lot of these guys, just because they haven't really, they play both sides of the ball, especially as underclassmen, they're going to be listed as athletes. But 
KJ Bolden is going to be a safety at the next level. And this guy, when you talk about, he reminds me a lot of a Jamal Adams type uh, safety or just a do it all guy. He could play in the box. He could be cover. He could hit. He could catch the ball. Like whatever you need him to do, he is more than comfortable doing it. KJ Bolden is going to be a difference maker at safety. And the same way that I believe that tight end is starting to revolutionize the, um, the offensive side of the ball, I believe that these safety linebacker hybrids which i believe that kj bolden is is going to be the the future for the defensive side of the ball and last but certainly not least the consensus number one recruit in the class of 2024 is the number one quarterback in the country dylan rayola aka mini patrick mahomes this kid i know that a lot of people are like oh patrick mahomes patrick mahomes everybody's trying to find the next patrick mahomes this is him did you see that first throw from, from the 45 he's throwing it in the back of the end zone like that is a 55 yard ball in air making it look effortless this this kid literally is a mini patrick mahomes he's committed to ohio state and he has a straight up cannon for an arm like that ball, it just comes out of his hand differently than a lot of quarterbacks that I've seen. Like it, it's up there with just some of the best pure arm talent I've seen since I've been covering high school football, which I've been covering high school football for the past seven years now, about for the last five on YouTube. And then I was covering it more before that. Like Dylan Rayola, he can like, when it comes to just letting the ball go, he's up there with like a Caleb Williams, as far as just like distance on the ball. I mean, look at this throw opposite hash mark dropping into a bucket into the corner of the end zone like it's nothing too easy yeah there's a reason why he's the number one consensus number one recruit in the country there's no debate in it. every single recruiting profile has him as the number one look at this throw like literally rolling back and just throws it straight across his body tell me that's not you haven't seen patrick mahomes do that he his play style his mannerisms his arm talent all remind me of a patrick mahomes his comp is always going to be patrick mahomes it's just living up to that hype at this point because Dylan Rayola is him. So those are all of the top 10 recruits in the class of 2024. Be sure to comment down below. Who do you guys think is the number one recruit in the class? I, I don't think that there's much debate. Dylan Rayola is the top guy. But just comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the class of 2024? Who do you guys think might be a little bit overrated? Who you might think be a little bit underrated? Who do you guys think might creep into the top 10 come the end of the recruiting cycle for the class of 2024? Y'all should be excited because there's a lot of really good and really talented players. We're going to be going to most of you guys' favorite programs, and they're going to be straight up difference makers for them. So be sure to comment that down below. Leave this video a like. Also, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 300,000 subscribers. And if you guys love college football, Hit that subscribe button. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.